I'm going to take you on a journey tonight through now 50 years old, which is half a century. I prefer to say half a century because that horrible number of 50 is such a horrible thing. And so my mum and dad came to Coventry like so many people in the 50s and 60s. And there's a picture of my dad here. He played in a band in Ireland and he played in bands over here in Coventry, and he could play the violin. He did try and teach me, but I'm left-handed, he's right-handed, <laughs> no go. But he came to Coventry to work, and he worked at the factories like Cortles, GC, and various other factories. And he then settled down with my mum. And she's here, she's out having a good drink. She liked, to, she liked to go out and have a good time. And she came from Wales where her dad was a miner in the south of Wales. When that pit closed, he came to Coventry to seek work like so many of us, settled down in Coventry, and then brought the family, and that's how my mum met my dad, and as they say, the rest is history. We won't go into that hanky-banky stuff. <laughs> but they set up home in Matlock Road, next to Cortles. Now, I did have videos to show you, but. I watched them and I just got bored, so I decided not to show you those ones. So use your imagination. So Matlock Road, next to Cortles, they've started a young family together uh, there in the late 50s, early 60s. And that was fine when Irene came along first, and then there was Jane, and then there was Andrew, and there's pictures around of them, and then Dave, my brother, who is the closest age to me, and then finally I came along. And that house in Matlock Road wasn't big enough anymore. So we ended up moving to Lapworth Road in Woodend. And I'll be talking about that during the course of the night. But I thought what I'd do is, so that you've got a better impression of what family life was like, I'd better find this, if I can, if it won't go wrong. And to give you an idea of what our house was like. And this was inside the project, I found what it would be like a morning at our house and this is mid 1980s I'm 14 and a half and this is what it was like this is a typical October Friday morning at our house the time is around seven o'clock my mum is still at work my dad is downstairs my sister my brother and me are in bed my dad calls up the stairs David David it's seven o'clock David still sleepily replies okay I'm awake he gets dressed and rushes downstairs Dad, puffing and blowing, waving his hand over his face. Win me down, win me down, oh God. David frowns. Flipping egg, I'm trying to have my breakfast. Gets out plate and places it on a table. Dad, don't bother, you're more worried about your breakfast. Every morning it's breakfast first. I'm gasping for air in my bad chest and you're not bothered. Goes into the living room. I come into the living room. I sit down. Hi Dad, I'm switching the tally on for TVAM to get the bingo numbers. It's for my mum, honestly. Dad, you're another one. Television as soon as you're up. And when you get in, tally, 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 you bloody tally mad. Robert stands up. Mum lets me watch it. Goes into the kitchen. In kitchen, David, my brother, is eating breakfast on a dinner table. Jane is still in bed. The time is 7.05 or 7.50, I don't know which. David, what's he moaning at? Robert gets a plate. I wanted to watch Tully, but he started to moan. He's in a bad mood because he ain't got no fags. Reaching for the milk bottle. How much milk did you use? There's only half a pint left. Not much. There was only a pint in there. Closing the fridge door. I made tea last night and there was two pints, not one. David looks at him. Just shut up. Robert points finger. What are you going to do about it? At this point, Dad enters. Dad. There is not one morning, not one where you two don't have an argument. Pause. Then looks at the kettle. Not one of you has put the kettle on for a tea. Dad leaves. David puts the kettle on. God, Robert, why didn't you put it on? I'm having breakfast. You've had yours. The time is now 7.49, precisely, a.m. In one minute, my mum will come in saying, Hello, son. Have you got your dinner money? 
The front door opens. Mum, dragging into living room. Hello, son, have you got your dinner money? There, what did I tell you? She sits down, getting out the sun and the star. Now, at this time every morning, she goes on about work last night. Well, what a busy night we had last night. I've never been so busy. There was only four of us in. Betty was away. Have you got your books? Robert picks up bag. Yes, Mum. I poured your tea out. Drink it before it goes cold. I'm going now. See ya. Quick glance from Mum. Watch the roads. Bye. I close the door and begin to walk to school.